Hello everyone. Today I'll be showing you how to make Philip the box cab diesel from Thomas and Friends, Thomas the Tank Engine. I don't know too much about Philip. I just know he appeared in um The Great Race. That that's that's about it. I need to go back and rewatch at some point. So I'm just going to get started. First you want to place a red concrete um, one block above the tracks. Make it five blocks wide. Add two border walls on either side with a dark oak trap door. Close it up. Add a polished black stone brick wall in the middle. Another brick fence to the left. Grab out black concrete and go back 13 blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Then you want to add five red concretes again, like so. Add the borders, dark oak trap door, open it up, another brick fence border, not border, uh, polished black stone brick wall. You want to make the black concrete three blocks long. Like so. And then grab out polished black stone brick slab. Add an upper one to the back here. Grab out black carpet. Cover those slabs in this back running board. Then grab out polished black stone brick stairs, skip one, two, three blocks, and add um, two upside down polished black stone brick stairs facing each other, and then skip another four blocks, I believe it is, one, two, three, four, and add another one. And you want to do that on the other side. After you're done, each of them on both sides, copying them, you want to grab out polished black stone brick slabs. In the front, you want to add one sticking out. And in between here, you want it to be three blocks wide polished black stone brick slabs going through all of the bottom here all the way up until the uh, back the very back last block like so and that's pretty much the uh, chassis for Philip now we're going to start with the body. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is uh, go up to this first block before the first wheel. Add one. Add three more behind it. You're going to use green concrete for that. For this back one, you want to add a green concrete here and another one in front of it. Add a dark prismarine stairs with a slab on the bottom in the middle of it grab out end rods you want to place one in the front like this and two in the middle like so add two polished black stone brick slabs below those you want to repeat all of that on the other side put these here put the stairs in the slab here add the end rods and add the two polished black stone brick slabs after you're done that you want to grab out green concrete go up to the front skip a block and add a two block tall wall of green concrete up until 
this slab right here. So you want it to stop right here. Just have fill in all of this with green concrete. And you want to make it so it goes all the way around like so. And then add a 2 by 3 of green concrete here in the back. Now you want to go right where this end rod is, this uh, first one of these two, and punch out a 2 by 2 and place a 2 by 2 of green concrete. You want to do that on this side as well, like so. And then we're going to add four smooth court stairs, all facing away from each other, like this, so. Make a bit of a circle shape. That's going to represent his uh, number. And you want to do that right here as well. <coughs> After you've done that, Grab out um, green concrete and add a little, um, add green concrete on the inside and just fill all of it in. Because we're going to uh, use it to add some of these stripes right here. So you want to add three green concretes to the front here. Skip a block, add a green concrete. Then we're going to add a bamboo stairs facing up, like so. Add a green concrete. Add one facing up. And behind that, add one facing uh, upside down. Add a green concrete. Add one facing up. And then another upside down. Skip a block. Don't add any green concrete though. And do that same stripe. Again. Now we're going to come to th in between these last two. And punch these three out. Fill in these two blocks with green concrete. This is going to be the door where we add three gl uh, green glass stain a pane. And then we're going to come to the front stripe here and add a stone button. And then add two upside down bamboo stairs in the front. And that's going to be the striping for Philip. Then you want to come to the back here, add a green concrete in the middle, two upside down bamboo stairs. Next, you want to skip a block on either side and add three black concretes. Actually, on this side, you want to skip two. And you just want to fill all of this in. Like so. And then you want to do that again, but on top of this row. Alright, after you're done that, you want to add a yellow concrete on either side in the front. Add a 2x3 of yellow wool. Add two bamboo trapdoors. Uh, like so. Open all of them up, like this. And then add a 2 by 4 of yellow concrete right here. Add the, the exact same 
pattern for the bamboo trap doors you did in the front. And then uh, skip a block. Add bamboo trap doors facing this way. Open both of them up. And then you want to add two uh, bamboo stairs. One facing up and the other upside down for the windows here. You want to repeat this on this side. After you're done that, you want to come to the back, add two black concretes in the middle with a polished black stone brick stair facing one facing up and the other upside down. And then we're going to make bamboo stairs facing in this direction. Again, one facing up and the other upside down. And then two bamboo trap doors, one on the top and one on the bottom here. And this is going to be, and that's going to be his uh, back windows. Then we're going to take bamboo buttons, add two right here, two right here, and a polished blackstone button, add it right there. Repeat that on this side. Before we move on, you want to add two uh, black stained glass panes in the middle two here right above the door. Alright, so next we are going to add five polished black stone brick stairs in the front and drag them back to where this black stone button is and have them curve around as well. And then you want to fill this in with polished black stone uh, blocks. And once you do that, you want to grab the slabs back out. And uh, start adding them on the back. So the rest of this is just going to be slabs. And you want them to curve around the back like this. Just drag this all the way back. Like so. <coughs> then grab out bamboo slabs. Skip two blocks. Add a bamboo block. And then add a temporary slab. So you can add other slabs around it. Break that one. Come up to the front here, add a yellow concrete, add another one in front of it, add an oak trap door to the back and open it up, add a birch trap door, open it up, add two birch signs to the side, and that's going to be the lamp. And that that's pretty much the roof. Now you want to come down here and just add uh, iron bars all the way to the top and that's going to be the uh, handrails and you want to repeat them on the other side add two stone buttons to the bottom like this on both corners and then add iron bars to the top and they are going to be his handrails. All right, next you want to add three upside down quartz, smooth quartz uh, stairs, three smooth quartz block, and three smooth quartz slab above it. Add two black carpets on the side. And go to the back. Add a, another brick fence. And then add a diorite wall with a birch button. That's going to be the lamp. And now let me show you how to do the banners. Alright, so the first banner is pretty simple. It's just a green banner on the back here. That upside down stairs. 
for the window banner you want to take a black banner and yellow dye and add a border around it and that's going to be the banner for the window and that is pretty much it on how to build Philip the box cab diesel and um, Minecraft so I hope you enjoyed remember you can request a tutorial anytime and I'll see you in the next one